What is good, geeks and gamers? Welcome to G Squared Entertainment. I am here today to do an unboxing for the first time in a minute. I'm actually kind of excited for it because, again, it's been a minute. I got a Jack Specific set of Mario toys that we're going to go ahead and pop open because our family has an addiction to them, just for starters. But also, I've been dying to open something. So my son will be excited later when all of a sudden there's a new set up there. He'll be thrilled. It'll be great. So it's a win-win for everybody here. Today, I'm going to open... Boo's Deluxe Mansion playset. This is kind of one of the more recent sets, and they just actually announced a whole bunch that are coming out this holiday, including the giant airship, which we are all very excited for, and I will definitely be getting my hands on one way or the other. This one we're gonna go ahead and dig into today. One's released simultaneous with this are on the back as well, which I've had my eyes on for a while too. I saw the underground one at the store the other day, and I'd already had this, so we're gonna take a step away, we're gonna step back. So we just take, I need to slow down. This set comes with Fire Mario, comes with a bunch of Boo standees, it looks like. Let's just, let's dig right in. Uh, oh, come on, tape. I just cut my nails, man. That's what I get. But you know what? These are a little intense, but they're the closest thing to me. So we're gonna just use these. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and put those back over there. Okay. I've got some pieces here. Ooh, I've got some doors here. I've got our Fire Mario. Get rid of the trash. That's what the floor over here is for. Oh! The full set itself, or the backdrop, I should say, the full backdrop. And the last thing looks like is the base. That is it. Got an empty box here. I'm just gonna boop. All right, let's get rid of all the plastic. Got instructions. They don't seem like they're gonna be too intense though, which is nice. Gotta love a uh, easy setup. I mean, this thing already has stickers on it too, so that's not even something that I'm gonna have to worry about. So there's slots down here. This seems to stick right onto here. Something tells me this will be nice and sturdy though once I actually get it in there. Hey, look at that. With a little bit of force. Holy goodness gracious. That took a lot more effort than I was anticipating. But you know what? That thing ain't coming off, I'll tell you that much. My son loves to disassemble things. He's fascinated by it. So this one actually probably is gonna struggle with. Maybe we'll actually keep all the pieces together. Oh. And we've got our other standee boo in here as well. My son's gonna be like, yes, it's King Boo. And then he's gonna be like, dad, can you get me a King Boo figure? I don't have a King Boo figure. <laughs> At which point I will have to either hunt for um, or let him know that it doesn't exist. Cause I haven't seen that one myself. Poor guy's gonna be bummed. That is where our little King Boo standee is gonna go. Oh, look at that. Well, that's cute. All right, I've got this door here as well, which has Boo in it, which I guess is supposed to be a trick door, which sits right up here in the front. Oh my goodness. I like these clips because uh, on all the Jack Specific sets, when it's like a deluxe set that has a base and a backdrop and stuff, everything clips in, but you can usually pull it right off and put different stuff up in front, which is nice because we have a couple of the different castle sets. There is a mechanism where Mario will sit in that you can slide around to mix up which door he pops out of, which is kind of fun. I've got a couple more pieces, which I believe are going to be for the back. I've got these open. These look like two of our ledges, and then these are a couple more. All right, one ledge, two ledge, three ledge. And all this plastic, the three little guys, are gonna pop right onto the front. Come on, I know you just clip on. Don't lie to me. Almost. There we go, there's one. That one's in. I don't think this one's in all the way. Yep, it's not. <laughs> like when you get them in right, they're in. But getting them to that point, that takes a lot. There we go. There we go. So kids, Definitely get an adult's help on this one, because it's, it's a little tough. Huh. Look at that. All right. I've now got all three ledges placed to the front. That was embarrassing. Last but not least, I have these two ledges here that need to get set up. For once, I'm actually going to look at the manual to figure this one out, because I don't know where these go. Ah, fascinating. They go on the top. Didn't even notice that. I'm looking at the box. There are definitely two ledges up at the top. Hold on. I didn't even notice that because, I mean, the picture only shows it from the front facing. Or the picture's only front facing. 
this is the right one. And it just slides right on, nothing crazy. And this is the left one, slides right on the other side. And there we have it. Last but not least, let's pop open Mario. We have, you know, a million little Mario figures up there in my son's room. But you can never have too many, right? There he is. Oh, man. All right, so let's see. Mario walks in. Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Which door is he going to pop out of? I want to guess. Anything? Is he up top? Nope. Just me. Over here? Nope. Just, just me. Oh snap! It's Mario! <laughs> and then up here we've got our spinning booze to both uh, spook and hide from Mr. Mario. Fake door down here. Woo! Ah. So this is pretty, it's pretty cool. And for kids, they're gonna love the effect of what the doors can do. I think that's clever. Uh, for a collector, it, it kind of goes, uh, it's right up there with the with the Peach's Castle set because the front obviously is totally um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's interactive, but it also can be displayed like this hat. Like this has a display vibe to it where it can sit up on a shelf. All right, I man, get that kind of stuff totally. But the Peach's Castle was the same way where the front of it was great for displaying and for playing, but it didn't really have a back half. Boop. Whereas like their Bowser's Castle set is awesome because it's got the front side for displaying. It's kind of cut off to fit along a wall or the back of or a shelf. Um, but then you turn it around and obviously you can play on the inside of it. So that's awesome too. I just love that their sets are becoming more and more functional and less and less display. Like the airship especially, looking at that, have, both has the functionality of storing stuff on the interior of it. Um, but also the entire thing is obviously interactive. There's no back half, there's no display. You can display it however you want, whatever way it faces. It's I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. If you collect the Jack specific toys for Mario, their Mario line or anything, um, or if your kids play with them, obviously this is just another good one to add to the collection, especially if they love Boo, like my son does. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I'm going to hopefully do more of these in the coming, uh, coming weeks. I definitely have a controller coming soon. I'm gonna do a nice little unboxing for that. We'll see what else I come along. Obviously I found a lot more Pokemon cards than I ever counted on. So that's, I mean, look forward to more of those because if I can get them, it's gonna happen. <laughs> One last time, like and subscribe. If you wanna see more content like this, click on the notifications button too, just, you know, as a little bonus. Uh, we'll see you guys around, all right? Stay good, gamers. Mm -hmm.